my God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Why are your saving acts so far removed from my screams for help? My God, I call by day, but you do not answer. By night, I am not silent, but I can find no rest. Yet, you are holy. You are firmly seated in Israel's songs of praise. In you our fathers trusted. They trusted, and you delivered them. They cried out to you for help, and they were led to safety. They trusted in you, and were not put to shame. They were not disappointed in you. But I, I am a worm and not a man, an object of reproach to men, and am despicable to the people. All who see me ridicule me. They open their mouths wide to mock me, as they wag their heads while saying, Roll all your distress unto God. Let his Lord bring him relief. Let his Lord pull him into safety. For his Lord takes such delight in him. Yet, you are the one who pulled me out of the womb. You are the one who inspired confidence in me from the very beginning, even as my mother nursed me. I came out of the womb depending upon you. From my birth, you have been my God. Do not abandon me. Do not keep your distance. For my need is near, for there is no other who can help. Many are the bullish enemies that surround me, powerful enemies like the fierce bulls of Bashan. They are full of strength and anger, and they surround me expectantly. They open their mouths wide against me, like a roaring lion set to tear apart its prey. like water that has been poured out. So is my strength gone from me. All my bones are dislocated. My heart is like wax. It has melted within me. My strength is dried up, as dry as a broken piece of pottery. I cannot even defend myself with words as my tongue clings to the roof of my mouth. And you have brought me down to the world of the dead. For dogs now surround me 
A pack of evil dogs has encircled me and are closing in. Like a lion, they tear at my hands and my feet. I am so wasted away that I can count each and every one of my bones. And they look on with immense satisfaction. They divide up my garments among themselves. They throw dice for my clothing. But you, my Lord, do not be distant. Do not abandon me. My strength, my help, hurry now to help me. Snatch my life away from the sword. Snatch my lonely and deserted life away from the violence of these dogs. Save me from the mouth of this lion and from the horns of these wild bulls. have answered me. I will recount your name to my brothers. In the midst of the worshiping assembly, I will give thanks and praise to you. You who revere our Lord, praise Him. All you children of Jacob, Honor him, all you children of Israel, stand in awe before him. For he has not despised nor spurned the suffering of the one in need, and he has not turned his attention from him, and when he called to him for help, he heard and answered. From with you, my Lord, and from what you have done comes my song of praise. In the great worshiping assembly, my vows I will fulfill in front of all those who revere you. Let those who bow before you, those who are the humble, let them eat and eat their fill. Let those who worship and petition the Lord praise Him. Let that which drives you, your heart, your courage, and your joy, live forever. Let all the extreme ends of the earth remember and return to the Lord. Let all the people in every nation bow down in reverence before Him. For the Lord is the King, and He does rule over all people in every nation. All those who have had a life of pleasure, who have eaten of the good life and have now departed from this earth, will bow down in reverence. And all who have not, but who have gone down to the dust of the grave, 
will also kneel before him, for none can bring themselves back to life. The children, they will honor him. They will tell about my Lord to the future generations. They will come and declare to a people not yet born how his justice set things right. <laughs> 